humans don't deserve dogs. They're always there for us. They're loyal, they're loving, they're cuddly, and sometimes they even save our lives. And I want to share a recent story of a dog saving the life of a child. This is in Connecticut. So here's what happened. Kelly Dowling says that the couple's Boston Terrier, very cute active dogs, named Henry captured their attention by repeatedly entering the baby's nursery by headbutting the door open. They're like, what is going on? Why does the dog constantly like want to go into the nursery? Well, Kelly kept up shooing him away, leave the baby alone, baby sleeping, um, but the dog was insistent. Kelly and Henry typically, uh, Kelly says Henry the dog uh, typically hides under the couple's bed when scolded, but this time was different. The dog continued to push the nursery door open until Kelly realized her daughter had stopped breathing. She wasn't clearing her airway, Kelly said. She started to go blue and turn rigid, and she just really couldn't get air and couldn't get any oxygen. So at that point, the parents did, of course, the right thing. They rushed the baby to the emergency room, the children's hospital, where doctors managed to clear her airway um, and the baby's okay, survived. Uh, later, they were able to send the baby home. Everything was totally okay. But keep in mind that this dog, this Boston Terrier, knew something was wrong and alerted the parents to the fact that their baby was having trouble breathing. The dog saved the baby's life. How did the Boston Terrier know? How did Henry know? How did Henry know? Henry knows. Look at right Henry. There. Henry is a hero. But he actually is. So what's interesting is that I read the Twitter thread because I want to get all the details of the story. But then I noticed that people started writing in underneath with all their stories. And they're not making this up. And I have an easy theory as to why. But they had dogs and cats saving people's lives. One of my favorite stories was a they said this cat is normally kind of finicky that they have and and we don't let him on the bed and one day he comes on the bed and we kind of throw him off the bed and we do that a bunch of times and this cat that is normally not cuddly at all just keeps wanting to cuddle on the bed and we're like what is going on and then finally the cat comes and urinates on the husband's chest D damn right okay get him okay and so then the husband's of course super mad and he gets up and he chases the cat and the Cat runs and goes into the baby's room. <gasps> and there the baby has is in the middle of SIDS and can't breathe. Oh my God. Okay, I didn't I didn't know it was gonna take that turn. Wow. Yeah, it's a roller coaster. So I thought the husband was being naughty and the cat wanted to retaliate, but no, that's <laughs> no, not. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're saving the baby's life. And they, they said because of that, we, you know, our, our baby's alive today. No, and animals are amazing. Really, really amazing. Um, so my dog always knows when I'm in emotional distress. Mm -hmm. And the first time I realized that Charlie like had that ability, even if I'm not showing physical signs of it, was when um, in 2016, like I, I remember it was the day of my bridal shower. So we have the bridal shower, everything went well, nothing went wrong. But that year I was just so overwhelmed, it's 2016, I'm super stressed out. There was a lot of stuff going on. And uh, I had a panic attack at home. And Charlie is a puppy at this point. We had adopted him in 2016. And he's like laying on the floor on the other side of the room. I'm not making any noise, but I'm having a panic attack. And he just like gets up from his sleep and jumps up on the couch. He hadn't even jumped on the couch yet because he was so young, right? Mm -hmm. Jumps up on the couch and starts licking my face like crazy. And it made me feel better. It made me feel, I don't know, like everything was gonna be okay. Dogs are, they're just amazing. And it's not just dogs, obviously cats too, if, if they can sense that there's something going wrong. And it's just like that companionship and that loyalty and that love, it's so pure, it's so innocent. Which is why, you know, when we talk about how it seems like humans love and respect dogs or their pets way more than other humans, I'm not justifying that, but I also get it. Can I ruin this perfectly wonderful story? Sure. Okay. Um, we genetically modified dogs to be our best companions. Yeah, they're right? they're wolves. They they were started out as wolves. Yeah, and we they're the first uh, GMOs, <laughs> genetically modified organisms. We bred them and bred them and bred them until we bred loyalty into them, and we turned them into people who are animals that are supposed to look out for us. 
it's genius. <laughs> One no, way to look we at nailed it, is it. Genius. We nailed it. No, I, look, <laughs> there's a lot to uh, criticize mankind for. This ain't one of them. Okay, we did we did the right thing. I'm proud of us. Right. And uh, look, and, and you know how they did it. Like you mentioned, the breeding. Um, they just took the wolves that were like kinder, like the the more timid wolves, and they're like, all right, timid wolves, you guys have sex and like have more timid babies. Yeah. And that's how it started. And now there's like all these cute little dogs running around uh, who save our lives, literally in some cases. Yeah, I mean. People could look at that and go, we shouldn't have done that. That Why? takes away their true nature, oh, etc. There's okay. plenty of wolves out there, okay? okay. I, I'm, I'm Some neutral. of them are uh, animals <laughs> are innocent. <laughs> All right, but seriously, guys, last thing on it is it's not that like weird, right? They have a sense that we don't have. A lot of animals have different senses that we don't exactly have. Some have heightened senses, like eagles can see further, some uh, can see different kinds of uh, like. UV rays that we can't see, some have better hearing. And they have, you know, if you want to call it a sixth sense or whatever, cats, dogs, mm -hmm. something that they could sense, they literally can sense it physically that we cannot because they're a different animal than us. And so in this case, it winds up being super helpful. And there is a real tip in here, which is if your dog or cat is freaking out over something, you might want to pay attention to it because yeah. they might know something you don't. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.